Many times. In, in more in the, in the front. The best scenario, I would say, is to actually sort out the big cities, as I've already said, and get the medical supplies up, get the civilian population behind you, do your hearts and minds. It can be done, but you have really got to tread lightly and uh, respect their ways. Then that's r you're halfway there. Then let the winter take care of the, the bad guys, make a, quite a buffer zone around the bottom. It can be quite done. We've got thermal imaging, we've got all the rest of the kit. So, I mean, you can contain them. And in fact, they're effectively jailed. You can sort out the opium on the side, which is taking care of all the black money, um, which rolls over and funds a lot of these terrorist organizations and also the Taliban. So you've effectively isolated that pocket. Um, the worst case scenario is if we suddenly decide, OK, lads, we're going to go up in the mountains for them, because that is what they're expecting. And they are experts in the mountains, really experts. You're going to find trails booby-trapped, caves booby-trapped, and you're going to start taking a lot of casualties. I think on the low land, you're not going to take money. The, uh, the conditions, I mean, on a good day, you might be plus five. And at night, down 20, 25 miles. And on a real bad day, you're probably still below for even five, six below freezing in the daytime and down 30 at night. Um, so, I mean, you've got a lot of operational problems. You've got a lot of snow, so you're going to get your tracks. You know, you're going to have your footpaths and uh, you, you're going to be walking into all sorts of untold scenarios.